Hi all, welcome to my video. In this video, we will be working with this part. Let's open a new part and step by step build it together. So, what we're gonna do now first, we are going to create a sketch in the front plane. So, I pick a circle, drop it in here, I have a line here, and then I come back to my point without clicking, I have this arc. So, now, what I will do, I will pick another line and then combine these areas. So using these construction geometries will always make your life easy when you are defining your sketch fully. So that's why I always use them and it's always good to have. So let's give some dimensions. Here I have a 20 mm, here I have a 3 and here five so still not fully defined let's give here the angle still not what is wrong then this is not tangent we press our control we select two objects and make them tangent now it is fully defined we go to mirror we select this radius and align and we use this to copy them and the sketch is completed. We can close. So surfaces, extrude surface, mid plane, 10 millimeter is okay. Something like this. Three surface bodies appear here. So white plane, we look normal to, and we create here a sketch. So as you know, we will need again the construction geometry to give relationships. Then I start with a line, like an arc, I continue down, I come back, something like this, not parallel, take care of this, and then from here also. We could use mirror, I didn't do it, but we could do it. So we select this object, control is pressed, symmetric, we select this two point, as you see they are not aligned, we say them horizontal, and we select this radius and this semicircle and edge and give it tangency. So things a little bit now messed up, we will correct them. The idea was, let me construct this a different way, let's get back a bit. To fix this problem, I have a solution. So I will make it here 4.5 and I will give here already my radius. So if radius is bigger than this value, it will not have that stupid uh, confusion. Yes, now it is better. Uh, for example, let's put here a line in between instead of assigning a relationship. Normally what you could do, you could select this guy this two guy and say them horizontal. Putting a line in between, in fact, same idea. I select two point. I could select seams, two points and symmetric. Normally what you could do, put here another line and make sure that it is vertical. This will also work. So, and here I will have 0 0.25 offset and here I have two millimeter. So why we do that? Because we don't want this sketch here uh, have an uh, overlap. Otherwise, extrude will not allow us to, to work with. It is good, guys. We can move ahead. We close the sketch. And now another extrude surface. Mid plane. Now we need a little bit length. It is okay. We are ready to go. And then I will here create an intersection curve. I select all objects. Something they selected. Yes. Everything here. Let's see what we get. Something like this. And I will hide my bodies. I will remove this uh, area. So what we know in this section, we don't have those guys. We will remove them at first. Sorry, not this guy. 
let me rotate it this two guy okay and this side we don't need these guys it is somewhat mirrored okay I get trim we send this part we send this part and we will send this part and we will send this part so at the end we have this so you you see that uh, there is some undefined objects when you make trim you always have it and there is ways of controlling it but I will not spend on, the, on that time and I will select a spline tool fit spline not close, delete geometry. The, the original geometry will be deleted and I will convert everything to a one spline. Yes, we have this now. If you don't want to do this, you could do it also differently. Here, composite curves also will do somewhat same work. Anyway, we have this nice curve. You can give here a color. I do that sometimes. It looks nice. It will be quite difficult to draw such a curve. Maybe you can derive an equation to deal with it, but simple sketch is also working. So if something is in a simple way solvable, we will not bother with other things. So we select circular profile, and I wrongly put here 10. It takes some computational time because it will not work. Two will work because I designed this accordingly 2 millimeter, and we say OK. At the end, you have this. I hope you find it easy. If you look, there is not so much step to sketch and extrude this sketch. And in the, under the 3D sketch, we combine these curves to one complete curve. Otherwise, we need to select each segment. I didn't want to do that work. And then, last step is just selecting a curve and creating a sweep. So I hope you like it and you learned something new. If you like it, hit the like button, make a comment. Thanks for watching. See you.